Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And League Two action is what's on the menu coming up live. It's Bolton Wanderers and they face Grimsby Town. Thanks Derek. I'm sure both coaches will want their players to start with a real zip in their play. Really show the opposition what they're in for. That could lead to fireworks. Let's hope so. And here's the starting lineup for Bolton Wanderers. A 4-4-2 with a slight tweak, maybe. Yeah, it's all about the central midfield players in this formation, Derek. The two players, instead of playing next to each other, one will just play advanced of the other one. It's very, very important that the wide players tuck in when they haven't got the ball to help that lone midfield player in the middle of the park. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. And the match is underway. Getting forward. Opportunity to take the lead. And a goal it is. No long wait for the opener today. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Number 33, James Vaughan. Well, that is how to play advantage. He's in with a chance. Oh, what's an opportunity. It's been squandered. Well, you dream of 1v1s as players. He's had one and he's squandered it big time. Effective looking pass. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for the home team. Nine minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McInerney. Hatchback with the registration GR21 L. Really getting stuck in. Please contact your nearest security guard. Thank you. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, just went a bit too early, offside. Well, a penalty in one of the other matches, but for which team? Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Port Vale. A slight delay. Can he finish this? There it is. Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded, and then threw on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, a second goal for them here. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 21 minutes played. 1-0. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. Williams. James Vaughan. This looks promising. 
Opportunity. Well, the pass got in the way. Over the touchline for a throw in. Tremendous challenge. The hosts have really controlled possession, really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. And they're creating chances as well. I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer, to be honest. They can't seem to get a foothold in this game. And everyone in the centre looking on as it sailed over them. Now can they counter clinically? He's in behind. It's got to be. Keeper getting the touch. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors. 39 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Koke. Harry Clifton. And they are on the move again. An attack full of promise. Simple catch, really. Not a huge chunk of added time, one minute. So the half-time whistle is sounded, and it's so far so good for the hosts, Lee. Well, Derek, playing as a defender for this lot must be an absolute dream. You know the forwards are likely to score, so you've just got... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. So a throw in here. James Vaughan. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a goal from Bradford City. What? Can he put it in? And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when he's hit that hard. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Well, they have the ball once more. Well, we had to interrupt Alan McAnally in full flow there. Apologies for that. To recap, the home side were able to find the net in that game, and the match is level at 1-1. It looks promising. A real opening now. Well, a badly timed run. Just a fraction offside. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Gary Madine. Oh, what an opportunity. In it goes. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Number 33, James Vaughan.
And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, surely. Goodness me, what was going through his mind there? Well, his brain said one thing and his feet did another. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. And he might be through here. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. We can take another look here. I'm sure the keeper is frustrated with the defending. Just afforded too much time in the box and he's never going to miss that. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Green. Right. And super tackle and they've won possession. So, 20 minutes to go. Can he take the chance? Now the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. The cut back. Can he finish? Safe pair of hands. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. Well, we can now go to Alan McAnally for news of a goal elsewhere. Alan? It's a second goal for Scunthorpe United. 73 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Thou shalt not pass was the message delivered. And he whips it in. Well, clattered away. And over comes the corner. And he's headed it in! Well, here it is again, ball into the box from the corner, and he gets up for the header, goal and quite frankly, it's a lovely finish. Brilliant goal. Elliot Hewitt. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. And a penalty in one of the other matches, but for which team? Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Southend United. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Come on then, is it a cool finish? Does he go for power? Oh, he never looked... Cool. And there it is! A goal, but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Promising sequence. It might be. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender and then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And they saw the situation developing. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And the penalty has been given here. Well, he must proceed with great care. Could easily have been cautioned. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. Well, here's the replay. There's always a gamble when you go down the middle. You look a bit silly if the keeper stands up. But not this time, Derek. Dispatched. Neither side shy about shooting in this match. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Green, and there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome, Lee. Well, Derek, at the top of the game, we talked about the stark contrast in the front lines, and as predicted, it went exactly...